I, I, I think that one of the, the, the greatest examples of the failure of, what's, of Washington, D.C., and the federal government has been the immigration policy. I mean, you know, we had, uh, we went through this in the 80s, and uh, we, uh, the, the federal government promised at that time that we were going to secure the borders, that we were going to enforce immigration laws, and illegal immigration would stop. And they have absolutely 100% failed to do that. And now we've got a very, very serious, expensive problem. And what Arizona finds is that not only is it an expensive problem because they have to, they have to, 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 to provide government support for illegal aliens and their families who, who, who are here, uh, at a great cost to the taxpayer, but it's a tremendous public safety issue, and 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 that is those are fundamental responsibilities of the state of Arizona, and because of the government's failure, Arizona stepped up to the plate, and 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 has 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 chosen to defend itself, and what wishes to help enforce the, these the laws and trying to help correct the problem. What is offensive to me, and I think to so many others, is this. First of all, that Arizona is being criticized at all. If you look at the bill, there's nothing radical about it. It's a very straightforward bill. Uh, I think that it's fully within their power. And then the idea, the gall of the federal government to turn around and sue Arizona to keep them from enforcing it is just, it's just, it's just ludicrous. It's totally ludicrous. So I think that that's an area where we need great leadership. I think we have got to finish uh, uh, building the fence across the across the border and securing that border. It's a national security issue, it's a public safety issue, uh, it is a budget issue for us as a country. And uh, I think that we've got to enforce the laws that we have. I think also, uh, and I was talking to a farmer about this earlier today, I think also we've got to streamline legal immigration. Because I think that when you look at, at, at the needs of employers, uh, in those circumstances where uh, they're, they're not, people are not not competing for jobs with Americans, uh, you know, we ought to be able to have a process that uh, that that helps those employers get get done what they need to get done.